Welcome, Badass Manifester. I am so glad you are here. I'm your host and head coach, Ashley Gordon, master mindset and manifestation biz expert, founder of the Quantum Coaching Certification, and multiple six-figure entrepreneur obsessed with empowering you to create quantum leaps in your energy, your life, and your business. This is the show to help you make magic your everyday normal, where the ripple effect is real and the guest experts are world class. My mission is to power your conscious and subconscious mind with manifestation teachings, business tools, and coaching techniques to put your potential into action. Consider this your weekly up level. Are you ready for quantum transformation? Let's do this. Badass Manifester. I'm so excited for a solo episode today. I am so jazzed. I have so much energy right now that I want to share with you, which is kind of the opposite of how I was feeling last week. And I'm recording this um, a week before like this goes live. So it's Monday, currently October 2nd. Happy October, by the way. And this will be going live on the 9th. But I I just want to share some life updates, some very exciting things that I'm so pumped about. And a little update on that. Uh, But last week was weird. I was feeling so overwhelmed. Um, Maverick had this like weird fungal infection on his diaper area. Let's just put it that way. And I was like, I called the doctors and I was like, I'm just going to say it. I called the doctor. I was like, his balls are fire red right now. And my mom's like, "Um, Ashley, testicles is the anatomically correct word. I'm like, okay, but his balls are really red right now. Like just unexpected things sometimes come up. And I know, I know all the mamas out there listening totally understand like, you know, there's things that come up that can derail all of your plans. And at the end of the day, it makes me realize like what's most important. And I actually got my period back from 10 months of postpartum, not having it, and then like, you know, being pregnant. So over over a year, well over a year of not having it. So that brought up a lot for me. And I just felt so overwhelmed with everything that's happening in life right now. Just so many things are happening business-wise and personally and with the baby and I'm planning baby showers and I'm planning birthday parties and I'm I'm just holding a lot and it all just kind of came came up and what's really cool about that is I can hold a lot. I have a really big capacity. And it didn't always I didn't always have that capacity. I've kind of grown into that capacity as life became fuller and more has manifested you know, the capacity expands. And that's something that I talk a lot about with like students coming into QCA is like, do they have the capacity in their life to take a, take on a program like this? And we kind of talk about it where it's like your capacity expands. Like when you have to live your purpose, which is what I'm doing, your capacity begins to expand for that. It starts to expand for business. It starts to expand for your family. And it doesn't all happen at one time. It doesn't happen overnight. It's little moments, step by step by step, where you look back and you're like, wow, I'm holding a lot. <laughs> and maybe you can relate to that right now, or you're probably holding a lot in your life right now. And no matter, you know, it's not like whose capacity is bigger. It's not like that. It's more like, wow, recognizing how much you have going on. And honoring that and really knowing that like, damn, like you don't have to do it alone either. So that's another exciting update is um, one of my best friends. Her name is Catherine Zinkina. She's known as Manifestation Babe. Some of you may know her. Um, She was like a long time, still is such a huge inspiration to me and I know to so many people. And I, I was like an OG follower and, and, and saw her expand and grow and saw her capacity grow for the life that she's created for herself. And I manifested her as one of my closest friends. And now she had the vision. We're in a mastermind together called CEO Mama. And she had the vision to create her own mastermind called Manifest Like a Mother. And it is for high-level high, high six and seven figure business owners and mamas. 
Um, and it's going to be such a luxurious mastermind experience. And I will be co-facilitating that with her. So that's a huge life update for me personally. And it's so crazy and funny because um, Courtney, shout out Courtney, she is, Courtney Taylor, she is a dear friend of mine and um, past client and an amazing psychic. And she literally told me, she predicted it. She's like, you're going to do something with mamas. And I just couldn't see it. I didn't know how, I didn't know when, I didn't plan it. I was like, no, no, I'm all about, I'm all about what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And then it just happened where now I'm going to be facilitating this experience with Catherine. And I'm just so honored. It feels so right. It feels so on purpose. And I'm telling you, this is the thing about capacity. Like as your capacity expands for the things that you want to create in your life, it will naturally expand. Like it will naturally be the next step. So there's no point in worrying about it of like worrying, do I have the time to put into this? Do I have the energy? Will I have, a lot of people write on their QCI applications like, Will my procrastination get the best of me? And here's the thing. When you're living your purpose, procrastination, it really it really fizzles away because you have this urgency with your purpose. There's like, oh, I have to do this. I can't not do this. And so naturally your capacity expands. I just wanted to share that because I think that that's a huge thing. When you think about starting a business or living your dream life or whatever, you're like, oh, I'm really comfortable in this job that I have and I know what I have to do and I know I have this free time and I know that I come home from work and I can make dinner and I can watch TV and whatever you do that's like comfortable in your routine. And then you think about taking on this big responsibility of a business, big responsibility of creating things. And that can get in the way of you taking action because that got in my way for a long time. It got in the way until I realized that I couldn't not do it. It felt worse to not do it than to do it. And I promise you that responsibility, it doesn't happen overnight. It happens with one step at a time, one little thing at a time. And this is like for anything you want to manifest. And I think this is like a huge manifestation blocker for people when they hold themselves back from something that they want, it's because they think that they're going to have to trade something or give up something. But really, we this is evolution, right? This is the evolution of us, the evolution of our life, the evolution of our lifestyle, the evolution of what's for us and what's not for us. So I just, I wasn't planning on sharing any of that. That just kind of came through. It's I guess it's a message that you needed to hear um, because I don't, A lot of people, um, when they have a goal, we're either motivated towards it or away motivated, which means like, oh, I really want that, but I don't want anything else to change in my life. Or I really want that, but I'm afraid to take on responsibility. Or I really want that, but I don't want to be broke anymore. Or whatever. It's like you're oh, it's like a negative, it's like I really want that but statement. Instead of I really want that and I'm gonna trust that the next step that I take is going to expand me just enough to get me to that next step. And then once I'm at that next step, I'm going to know that next step. And I'm already going to be expanded into the capacity of the following, of the step before that. So I'll be ready for what's next. Does that make sense? You with me? You getting this? There's some codes in there for you. So I wanted to share that. And here's the thing. This whole thing that came up with Catherine and it, you know, co-facilitating and being a master coach in this mastermind, that's going to really push me outside of my comfort zone. It's going to push my capacity boundaries. It's going to push me to new levels. There's going to be more traveling and there's going to be more on my plate and there's going to be more to do. And I'm ready for it. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. So I share all this with you because I want you to know that no matter what level you you get to in life, in business, and wherever you are, like there's always going to be new things that are going to push you outside of your comfort zone. And I had a tea the other day, and of course it was like so on point when my, the little message that comes on the tea bag, and it said the comfort zone gets uncomfortable after a while. And this kind of segues into my next little update. When I was pregnant I had heart palpitations and they were just uncomfortable for me like very uncomfortable and of course I was already out of my comfort zone like being pregnant and in a you know a new experience and now 
I said I got my period back. The heart palpitations went away. Now they came back. Came back very strong with my period. And I think it's definitely hormone related. And so I called my, I have a concierge doctor who's amazing. They come to your house. It's unbelievable. He didn't, they did an EKG on me. They did all my blood panels. Like they did everything. And I got the results in like a freaking day. Like when they did the EKG, he diagnosed me right on the spot. He's like, you have heart palpitations. I'm like, I know. And, um, and I was able to talk to him about it. And he said, they're completely benign. And my blood panel came back perfect. He's like, you're literally one of the healthiest like people I've ever drawn blood on. I'm like, thank you. You're just like tooting my horn right now. I was really grateful for that. It put me at ease. And then guess what he said? Do you meditate? Because lately with everything that I have going on and the overwhelm that I was feeling, you better believe that stress and stress hormones impact your heart. They impact your body, your physiology, and they were impacting me. And I was thinking about when I was pregnant because I had written down what was going on in my life, what was happening when I was getting the heart palpitations, and there was the sign of like, you're under stress right now. You feel stressed. You feel overwhelmed. And he was telling me about meditation every day, and I'm like, okay, you're preaching to the choir. Like, yes. And sometimes we need a dose of our own medicine, you know? Meditation so important but I just find how it's so interesting how our physiology is so greatly impacted by the things that are going on in our life and that's why doing the inner work doing meditation focusing your energy manifestation everything that you want it it it, you can't just meditate when you're in a bad space you have to meditate every day you can't just write your affirmations when you're in a negative space you have to do them every day it's like keeping up with the joneses but not keeping up with the joneses it's like keeping up with yourself like that's what i mean you know it's keeping up with yourself and if we could replace keeping up with the joneses with keeping up with ourselves in that way how much more powerful how much more centered how much more focused how much more aligned will we be But here's the other thing that goes with this. Even though I was overwhelmed, even though I was stressed, even though all of these things were happening this past week, so many good things happened. Like the the, the whole um, manifest like a mother mastermind thing was like we we got the green light last week and, and that really came to fruition and I'd been waiting for that to like really come to full fruition, right? And then... Something else really cool happened where we hired a copywriter for Quantum Coaching Academy to redo all of our emails, all of our sales emails, all the things. And she is really, really amazing. Her name's Kira Hug. Shout out to Kira. She interviews people that have joined the program, people that wanted to join the program but didn't end up joining the program. And she interviews them to get their words, to understand their mindset, to write really amazing copy. So she interviewed three women that had joined the, had taken their alumni of QCA and I get a message from her and she's like hey this has come to a complete shock and surprise to me but I want to join the quantum coaching academy so our copywriter that we hired who had zero intentions of joining a coaching certification ended up enrolling into QCA on our early enrollment savings list season and that to me just like And it was on a day where I was feeling really low energetically, right? So that to me was just like, OMG, this is like, if this isn't confirmation, if this isn't like the highest compliment, I was just like, whoa, this is incredible. And so how cool is that? First of all, it's pretty cool. And she was just saying how like, this is great because... I wouldn't be someone who identifies as a coach, but I'm a copywriter and I are I coach copywriters all the time, but I don't have any formal training. And so it's really in alignment with her business. And man, like I'm just so happy for her. And also I was just blown away by the whole manifestation. And I wasn't, you know, trying to make that happen and I wasn't necessarily in the best state of being at that time. So it just goes to show you that when you put in the work to consistently be in alignment, when you're meditating, when you're visualizing, when you're doing the things that fill you up, when you're moving your body, all of those things, 
they pay off. And they don't have to, you don't have to be in a high vibe state all the time if you're consistent in your practice. And I'm not saying I'm far from perfect, but I try every day to do something. No, I'm not going to say I try. I do something every day to fill up myself up. And if I don't, I really feel the impact of that. So this is your reminder to do that. If you haven't done that, this is your reminder to do that. Oh, another thing that happened last week that I want to share about is we had a really big video and brand photo shoot. And I had been (laughs) stressing over this photo shoot. And I'm like, next time I need someone to design. If you are listening and you're like, I could style you, I could plan out the whole shoot, and I just have to show up, that's that's the vibe I'm going for next time. Because it was just like I was I was overthinking this photo and video shoot so much because I just wanted it to be perfect. That was my whole thing. I wanted it to be perfect. And I kept putting it off. I like kept booking a date and then I was like, actually, can we do it next week to the video shoot, to the videographer and photographer? And they were very cool working with me and very cool people. Um, but it went amazing. And I lost sleep that night after the shoot thinking about all the shots that I missed. And I thought that that was a really good metaphor because even though the shoot went incredible, I was up thinking about all the shots that I missed. And I share this with you just to share some of like my inner world of like the way that I coach myself through things. And I woke up the next day and I texted the photographer and I'm like, hey, can we shoot again on Monday? Because I I was up all night thinking about all the shots that I still want to get and that I missed and da da da. And she's like, yeah, no problem. We could shoot for an hour on Monday. Guess what happened on Monday? I came down with like some sort of allergies or cold. My nose would not stop running for five seconds. I was just like dripping like a sieve. Like it was just, it was like nonstop. And it was just ironic that that happened because I was so focused on what I missed. So then I took that little um, obsession, like I was like obsessing over it. And the universe was like, no, no more photo shoots for you this week, honey. Because then, that was on Monday, then Tuesday I had the heart doctor come, and then Wednesday when I was trying to do things for business, Maverick had to go to the doctor because it was fiery balls. And then Thursday was like a jam-packed day with QCA, and then Friday was just already fully booked. And it was just, the week was just, in my mind, quote, derailed, unquote, right? And that was how I was like categorizing it. So... What happened was, was I, t- I, I started to become aware of my thoughts and I took my thoughts and I said, okay, well, when I am thinking about all the shots I didn't miss, where else is that showing up in my life? And so this is an opportunity to take my learnings for yourself and get curious about the things that you say to yourself. And this is exactly how we teach our coaches to coach inside of QCA, right? Because you're listening to your clients, you're listening to the, the words that they speak, the beliefs that they're telling you, that they don't hear themselves saying. So if I was in a coaching session and I was talking to my therapist or my coach and I was saying, I was up all night thinking about the shots I didn't take, that would be my cue as a coach to, to, to really question that statement because there is so much gold in there. So you don't want to glaze over these things as a coach. You really want to do deep listening and really hear what's happening in between the lines. This is quantum coaching, right? It's like what's happening in between the lines, in between sentences. What's behind what they're saying. And so that's what I had to start to ask myself. So I started to ask myself that. What's behind what I'm saying here? And I got to some really good insight where overall in my business, how often or and in my life, How often am I thinking about all the shots I didn't take as a metaphor, right? How often am I focused on what's not happening? What's wrong? What do I wish was different? And if you just ask yourself some of those questions, you're going to get some really good information to be able to just switch focus because it could be that simple. We're focusing on what's wrong, what we don't want, and it's as simple as just switching your focus. What's right? How how much is happening? How much of your business is thriving right now? How much of your life is thriving? What do you love about your partner? What do you love about your children? What are they how are they showing up in your life? Like all the good things. 
And it's so simple. And I think that I do that stuff. And I'm sure you think that you do that stuff. But then there's those moments like that where you stay up all night thinking about the shots you didn't take. And you, you get you get some inquiry out of it. You get to thinking, hmm, where can I tweak my vibration? Where can I tweak my energy? Where can I shift? And that is what I call a quantum shift. We talk about quantum shifts a lot in QCA. We teach our students a lot about, our coaches, a lot about quantum shifts. And what's really cool about quantum shifts is that the more you have them, the more you can help your clients have them, they're little shifts in awareness. And the more you have these little moments that shift your awareness, little moments that shift your awareness and shift your awareness, what does that create? That's what creates the quantum leaps. That's when something insane happens that's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing and this is greatly going to expand my capacity, right? That's when you get asked to collaborate on a manifest, your ma- manifest like a mother mastermind. That's when you know, more students end up enrolling in QCA than ever before. That's when you meet someone like this morning. I am so in alignment today. I met this amazing woman at the coffee shop and she's meant to be a coach and I can help her with that direction. My whole goal and like the energy that I put out is I want to help you really whatever you do, whatever you want to do. I want to help you get on your path. That's my vibe. And so people are attracted to me in that way because that's the vibe that I put out because that's just what I do. So there's just so much happening. I kind of just like, I think brain dumped everything right here, but hopefully it makes sense. Like, are you with me? (laughs) Are you with me? Are you with me? This is really just like an internal um, processing that I'm sharing with you because I feel like we're connected and I feel like, you know, it's important for you to understand that I'm always in my own process. Yes, I'm teaching these things and I'm I'm preaching them, but also I'm actively working on living them. And something that I wrote in my story was that one of the biggest myths of being a life coach is that you have to be perfect and that you have to be healed and have it all together all of the time. And that's just not reality. It's not reality for me, the founder of a ICF accredited coaching certification, world-class coach. And it's not the reality for anyone. You know why? Because we're all human (laughs) and we're not exempt from anything, right? We're perfectly imperfect. And that means that there's great news, right? That the great news is that you can, you can be successful. You can have so much success in your life. You can be really fulfilled and really happy and you can still be a work in progress. It's okay. I am. I'm a work in progress and I'm proud of it because then I can share my progress with you. I can share the learnings with you and hopefully you you learn from them and you grow from them too. And yeah, does this episode feel vulnerable? Sharing all these things feels vulnerable? 100% it feels vulnerable. But feeling vulnerable is a sign of growth and depth. And I read so many applications of students that apply to QCA and then don't even book their application call. And they all pretty much have that same piece in their application. And it says, you know, I don't really believe that I can do this. So of course, if you don't really believe you could do this, why would you book a call anyway? But I'm here to tell you that 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 vulnerability is going to propel you. And this is one of the reasons why I can hold space for so many people and clients because I'm able to hold that deep space for myself. I don't push things down. I don't pretend like my life is perfect. One day I'm doing a fancy photo shoot. The next day I'm literally like, it on the couch and just can't move because my heart palpitations are bad and I have my period and my son has red fiery balls. I mean, it's just related re, being real. It's real, which allows me to show up even more powerfully for everyone and everything in my life because people that don't want to be seen and don't put themselves out there, they're just afraid of rejection because that was me. I was afraid of rejection. I was afraid to be seen. I was afraid that you would judge me. 
Oh, she said period. Oh, she, her son has red balls. Like, oh, I can't, this is me. Why would I hold that back? I would say that to anyone in my life, I, in real life. Why would I say, why would I try to be different to you? You know? So being you is what the world needs. It's not someone perfect. It's not someone professional. It's not, we're really like redefining what the word professional is. It's really about authenticity. So with all that to say, as you hold it all together and you feel everything just like I am and you're overwhelmed or your capacity is growing and you're vulnerable and all of that, I just want you to know it's okay. It's okay to be all those things and you're not alone and hopefully like me sharing this lets you know that you're not alone and most importantly, you're doing a fucking great job. You're doing a fucking great job and you should be really proud of yourself. So that's where I'm going to end it today. Thank you so much for listening. I have such an amazing surprise launching next week. There's going to be a massive free event that I've never hosted before that will be launching next week. So stay tuned for what it is. I'm not going to tell you yet, but you might know if you listen to the podcast because you kind of, if you heard some of the behind the scenes stuff that I was planning with Taylor Slango from previous episodes ago, a couple episodes ago, then you might have an idea. But that's all I'm going to share about it as of now. Okay? All right. I am sending you loads of love. So much love. Keep being the badass manifester that you are. Woo! We did some work today. Thank you so much for listening. You know I love my BAM fam. If this episode resonated with you, please share it with someone who you know would love it too. Because we live for the ripple effect over here. And how can you best support the show? Make sure you're subscribed, hit the five stars, and leave a review on iTunes and let me know how the podcast has impacted you. I love being part of your real-time journey, so screenshot the episode and tag me and my guests on Instagram at Manifest with Ash. Now say it with me. I am my own power source. I am the master of my own energy, and I deserve everything that I desire. We don't just talk about it over here. We be about it. Now go get them.